Apple, how you doing, baby? All right, quick tutorial on uh, growing uh, super hot chili peppers. Um, I'm actually a newbie at this, um, uh, so I've been learning. So I just want to get some quick tips on from what I experienced. So um, this actually here, this right here is a Bujalokia uh, ghost pepper. Um, I currently have some uh, Trinidad scorpions. Uh, in the making some seedlings in the growing and I also got some seven pods some barack seven pods uh, well, I'm dying to try those out um, anyways one main thing you have to worry about when you're at least uh, in my part of the world uh, I live in Miami Florida and, uh, so I'm pretty near the equator so it's kinda hot out here uh, so I usually like to keep the the plant on the probably in the um, what is it the east side of my house so it doesn't get so once it gets afternoon it gets your shade because it gets really hot here and as you can see the sand it's really dry I practically have to feed them every day um, one thing you have to worry about look you see there is a ant uh, I think I missed it there's ant. there's a little ant right there um, usual uh, indications of an ant means you have uh, aphid, an aphid problem or an aphid problem uh, what they are is you just got to look around uh, these things will kill your plant if you don't take care of it these are their little tiny bugs you see this right here see there's one right here these are like I guess the the babies or the pods or something I don't know like there's a bunch right here they're little they're like little tiny moths that you barely see and they cling onto your plant and they'll suck the nutrients out of it so you see what I'm doing right now this is not good for the plant do not take them off like that you can damage the plant itself uh, one good tip for uh, fighting aphids is uh, using neem oil I got some uh, triple action neem oil that I found at Home Depot um, what you do is get some lukewarm water and you you put in a gallon or whatever and you put a, about a teaspoon of this stuff about neem oil and about a teaspoon of uh, dishwashing uh, soap and put in a and I guess in an off purpose sprayer and um, just spray the bottom of it and it would it, this is a constant battle it's more like an epic battle you gotta you gotta do this probably like twice every every two days or so so it's kind of a pain in the ass but um, deal with it um, so that's one great tip um, another great tip, of course, is um, you see there's some yellowing over here. Um, if you get some yellowing in your plants, that means you're lacking magnesium and most likely some uh, calcium. So what you want to do is either get some Epsom salt, which is magnesium sulfate, I think. Um, some, some Epsom salt you can find out at Walgreens or at a pharmacy or even at a supermarket, I assume. Um, get some of that. You can either uh, mix it with some water and just, uh, I guess, just feed it along with it when you, whenever you uh, give it some water and also some um, some calcium. I don't know how to get it. I, I haven't been able to find like a liquid form or anything, so I've been grabbing the calcium pills from my vitamin store and just crushing them myself. And just pray and just uh, sprinkling, either sprinkling on the, on near the uh, stem and around the stem. I mean, uh, whatever. And um, yeah, so that helps out. If you put too much, if, or if you get fertilizer burn, you will know if you get fertilizer burn if the tip starts to brown off. This kind of, I guess, kind of like that. I was gonna say. And if that happens. That means you either gave it too much salt or too much fertilizer and so keep it away from there so that's, so that's a good tip uh, another tip uh, these um, these super hot or most peppers do not like to be uh, fed that often usually you feed them about once a week um, but in my cases it's uh, extremely hot in Miami I usually have to feed them like one, once a day or once every two days uh, one way you can tell is by sticking your finger about an inch deep and if it feels moist leave it alone don't don't feed it <coughs> until it's all dry so 
So those those are just a few good tips that I've learned so far. I'll try to post more uh, as I go along, and I guess I'll I guess I'll keep like a little video diary and see how this plant grows. Um, so we'll check it out. I'll keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching.